The Born Supremacy from 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the next installment in the Jason Bourne franchise coming at you on the channel here today. Once again, another Patreon requesting movie coming at you guys from the homie Alexander Collins. Shout out to him for requesting this over on Patreon, man. As I said in the first reaction, we are going to be going through one of these movies a month. So yes, I am doing this full series more than likely, but it's going to be once a month. But we are here to the next one, man. Obviously, I checked out The Bourne Identity about a month ago fantastic fucking movie loved the action in it and loved the way we ended it man you know obviously we had jason uh going to see marie at the end and kind of reconnect with her after everything that really you know happened to him and to them on their kind of adventure so to speak so i'm curious as to what's going to happen this movie if we're going to start out kind of with them and then some shit's going to go down if we're going to get thrown into the mix because i think at the end of the last movie you know they didn't elaborate it on too much we got a little bit of details of what's going on with him you know what he kind of did prior to losing his memory so to speak and how he was a big investment and everything like that but i'm kind of curious as to how we're going to continue this and not only just this movie but the rest of the series because i believe we have three or four more movies after this if nothing less i'm excited to see the fucking action in this guys so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do ask if you guys are new channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below if you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead uh, we're gonna hop into this movie I hope they do elaborate more on kind of what's going on with Jason in this movie and we learn a little bit more about it. Because like I said at the start, they kind of alluded to it at the end of the last one, but they didn't really dive too much into it. So it'd be cool to see them explain that more. All right, fam. Your call. Yeah. We're on. Audio contact only. Switching to channel one now. Are they trying to stop whatever deal's going down? And when they said send in their contact, I'm assuming this is supposed to be another person similar to Jason. Eye contact. I don't care if it's visual. Mobile one, can you copy, please? Something. Are you there, mobile one? I'm sorry. Damn, man. Said the files are supposed to prove who stole their uh, their money. Man. So Jason and her probably did move out here to India to hide, you know, from all this stuff. And of course, they're still going to end up finding him somehow, some way, you know, find that connection to him. Thing is, bro, Jason ain't a man you want a problem with. You know what I mean? He ain't a guy you want to go after, bro. Oh, that'd be such a nice place to run, man. That shit would motivate me to go run just every morning, running on a beach like that, that fucking nice. Super chill, laid back, throw the AirPods in. Just fucking cruise for a bit. What's wrong? We're blown. How? We pushed it. We got lazy. Hmm. Thought they were safe. Damn, he saw him. Eyes connected, bro. Fuck, man. Now he knows he's in the right area, though. How far is he? Damn, man. I love seeing the driving in these movies too. The first one had some good driving in it too, and now we get the same thing in this one. I don't we don't have a choice. Yes, you do. What? Face them? Did she get killed? I know she got hit, but did she get killed? What the what the fuck was that? Was that a neck shot? <laughs> love that little detail. Grabbing that breath of water, breath of breath of water, breath of air. Would that even work? I feel like the second he opened her mouth to do that, water would just rush in, no? Dude, she's dead. Where did she get hit? I don't even see any blood. Wow, they kill her off at the start of the movie. Bro, that's gonna fuck with Jason Moore. He, he, now he has no reason not to just go all out against him. Hey, Born. It's Jello. Do we understand him? Yeah, don't he hurt you? Born, Fabri, a bunch of impulsive. Nope. So he thinks. Dude, that sucks. I mean, she was essentially his whole life. Gone in literally an instant. Smart place to hide your passports, buying the photo like that. 
Thing is, I know Jason's seen, uh, seen the guy's face, but he doesn't know exactly who he is, right? Damn, man! Love it! Oh my god! Just that fucking quick, dude. You just clone his phone? Wow. Ooh. Here we go. Hello. This is Pamela Landy, CI supervisor. Where do we stand? Right. It's getting information. Jason Ford is armed and extremely dangerous. Last week in Berlin, he assassinated two men, one a highly experienced field officer. I want you. Now he knows why they're off after him. I'm getting on a plane to Berlin in 45 minutes, which means you're going to call me back at 30. And when I ask you where we stand, I had better be impressed. Damn. Hey, Jason just got a lot of information there, though. He knows who's after him, and he knows why. I want you both on that plane. We are all of us going to do what we were either too lazy or inept to do the last time around. We're going to find this son of a bitch and take him down. I'm not having Jason Bourne destroy any more of this agency. Is that definitive enough for you? Yes. I don't think y'all were too lazy or too stupid to do it before. I just think you can't do it. You can't take Jason down. The only way you take him down is if he wants to go down. Oh shit. He's having more of these flashes. More of these memories. Oh shit. Was he the one who had assassinated the guy they were talking about at the start? Man, I'm not gonna lie, originally, prior to watching, obviously the first movie in this one, I thought this was gonna be something similar to John Wick where it was just a regular person, you know, people were fucking with him and he went to handle his business, which in a sense, it kind of is like that, but it's also different. I like it. Yep. I am dead. It felt a little light. What do you want? Conklin. He's dead. Shot dead in Paris. Dead the night you walked out. They shut it down. It's over. It's over, then why are they still after me? I don't know. Ever heard the name Pamela Landy? I don't know who that is. Pamela Landy in Berlin. What's going on in Berlin? I feel like these two are gonna end up working together. We should... What? Go out the back. I have another car. Ah! <laughs> uh... I love that the phone's just going off in the background. Oh shit. This guy's doing this shit all in his fucking uh, zip tie handcuffs too. Beating him with a fucking magazine. Oh shit. Oh fuck. The old reverse. Oh, just hearing the sound of him getting choked out. Man, he wasn't even here to kill you, bruh. Oh shit, he gonna blow this place up. Wow. That's kind of a cool way to do it. Just let the gas out, put the fucking magazine in the toaster, eventually a bitch catch on fire. Oh, dude, these dudes are about to die too. Literally driving right past them. <laughs> man, I kind of feel bad for Jason, dude. Like, when you think about it, my man ain't have free will before, and now that he kind of has it, he's... He's in this shitty situation. Now, I want to break this out in boxes. Naples outbound. Check everything. Flights, trains, police reports. That's box one. Teddy, that's yours. We need a vehicle, a parking ticket, something. Langley's offered to upload any satellite imaging we need, so let's find a target for that. 
Oh no, is he just gonna assassinate her? Have you forgotten what happened in Berlin? He doesn't know. But the thing is, bro, with his amnesia and everything, he really... He really could believe that it was him, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, lost her. But he sees her and he knows who that is. There was a girl in Paris. She's part of the program. She used to handle logistics. Alexander Strasse. 30 minutes under the world clock. What if I can't find her? It's easy. She's standing right next to you. Love that! What a line, man! <laughs> yes, sir! Bro, that probably sh uh, sent shivers down her spine. That was fantastic, man. Put the snipers in place. <sighs> Things go bad. We take them out. <laughs> yeah, but if things go bad on his end, he takes you out. All of y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? We tried the same shit last movie, bro. And I know she wasn't the one in charge and it's different people and everything. But last movie was Con uh, Conklin. It's, it's same situation, bro. I'm going to ask you some simple questions. You're going to answer me honestly. Or I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. Damn, dude. I need something. They're on it. They're on it. Who's Pamela Landy? Force chief. Why is she trying to kill me? Last week, an agency field officer tried to make a buy up of one of her ops. Last week, I was 4,000 miles away in India watching Marie die. They came for me and they killed her instead. She's hearing all that. She's probably starting to realize that this was a plant and that it really wasn't him. All right, what was, it? What was Landy buying? What kind of files? Conklin, stuff on Conklin. It was something to do with a Russian politician. <laughs> yep, his flashbacks. When, when was I here in Berlin? What? What you... For Treadstone. You know my file. I did a job here. When? No, you never worked in Berlin. My first job in Berlin. I did a job here. You know my... That was probably off the record. My first job. No, your first assignment was Geneva. You fucking... <laughs> it was off the record, man. He had, him, he had him assassinate him. That's why. Dude, okay. So we're getting more information. Conklin had... That was... His first real mission, but it was off the books. It wasn't a real mission, real mission. Uh, he's here. He's, he, he's able to connect everything finally, man. Made it look like a suicide. Or a homicide more so. Mission soldier. Training is over. Damn, dude. Shit fucked him up in the head. It's it's, it's sad what they did to him. Dude, look at him just scaling the building out here. What a fucking savage. God damn, bro. He was like maybe a foot away from hitting that civilian. Holy shit. I love the shots in the rain too, like this. Yeah. He's like, come on, shut these damn doors. Cause once those doors start to close, they don't stop, right? On subways. Wow, that was fucking close. He's gonna jump on the boat out there. Wow. Dude, that shit probably fucking hurt his legs. Maybe even broke an ankle or sprained one at least. That's a decent sized drop, dude. Yeah, he did fuck his leg up. What the fuck? 
I'm gonna climb back up and then jump on the subway again. Damn, barely made it on. Yeah, those doors don't stop, man. Once they start to close, you either in or you out. And if you in between, you fucked. Dude, I really feel for Jason in these movies, you know? I feel bad for him. Dude has like, his whole life has been fucked up because of this program essentially, right? And then he's out of it. He started to build his own life. His girl gets killed. He can't even remember most of his life minus what he had built with his girl. And now his girl's gone. He's got people framing him for shit. He's got people after him trying to kill him. He's He still can't connect everything. Like, it's gotta be fucking terrifying. Stairs in one of the rooms. She said she'd call you when she's done. Yeah, he knows what hotel this is. Yeah, he knows what hotel this is. Yeah, bitch. What's the matter? You don't wanna be here? Bring back some bad memories? It's how every story ends. It's what you are, Jason. A killer. You always will be. Go ahead, go on, go on, do it, do it. Be too easy, give this motherfucker the right punishment. It's the only reason you're alive. Damn, he voice recorded that shit too. There's his proof. He's fucked. Hey, sometimes killing a motherfucker is, is letting him off easy. This motherfucker needs to rot in jail. Now he's gonna have his meeting with Pam, huh? He's gonna talk to her, show her this recording and tell her what's up. I'm a patriot. I serve my country. And Danny Zorn, what was he? Unlucky. That's fucked. Collateral damage. That's what everybody says, all these corrupt people at the top. So what do we do now? I'm not sorry. He's gonna kill her. <laughs> or just himself, holy shit, man. I told you death was easy. That's why he killed himself. He knew what was going to happen if he got tried for all that shit he did. He don't want to spend his life in prison because that's real punishment. That's real torture. And the thing is, maybe now they'll leave Jason alone. Oh, is this his daughter? Nesky's daughter? Damn. He knows he's been made. Dude, Jason can't catch a break this movie. The thing too, Jason Fly, he, he has no help from anybody. I mean, obviously like random civilians like that giving him the address or some shit, you know, a taxi driver, but he has no like actual help from somebody. He's literally the definition of flying solo. Damn, he got him in the shoulder. And he's gone. <laughs> he's wounded though, but it was just a shoulder shot. But still, shoulders? Ah. <laughs> Shit. I did not expect that. Dude, I don't know how the fuck we're gonna get out of this situation here. I thought the most intense part of the movie was over, low key. Oh God, dude, he's about to T-bone him. Ooh, that was close. Damn, he did. A little bit, caught the tail end. Dude, the driving we're getting here is dope as hell. Oh shit. Damn! Oh boy, oh boy has to be dead. The Secret Service guy, he's gotta be dead, right? I know Jason's fucked up, but. This guy, he's gotta get his revenge for Marie, man. Wow. Now you're gonna put a bullet in him. Dude. Talk about the fucking climax of the movie, man. I would wanna know. I would wanna know that my, that my mother didn't 
kill my father. That she didn't kill herself. Not what happened to your parents. It's gotta be hard to hear. It's gonna be even harder to hear that he was the one to do it. I killed him. That was my job. It was my first time. Your father was supposed to be alone. Damn, he, wouldn't, he didn't even want to kill the wife, but he had to. But then your mother came out of nowhere. That knowledge, doesn't it? I mean, they're still dead, but yeah, it probably changes the memory she has of them. What you love gets taken from you. You want to know the truth. It's crazy, that line. It's literally him, this movie, with Marie. Sorry. So why this movie essentially happened. He wanted to learn the truth. Of why she died, why they were after him again. Why everything was happening. Only thing is, bro, that could ca cr create an enemy for the future. She might come after you. You might want to explain a little bit more that, you know, you were kind of under a trance, under a control. You know, Prime Minister arranged it with some other fucked up people that are dead now and stuff. Man, Matt Damon's such a good actor. I'm glad I'm going through this stuff. I'm glad I'm going through these Bourne movies. Bourne? Get some rest, man. You look tired. Damn! <laughs> I didn't even realize he was looking at her, bro. Just like earlier in the movie. And he was like, well, Alexander's standing right next to you. Shit. Born so badass, he's like a ghost, man. Similar to, uh, similar vibes to John Wick, but different vibes, and both are unique in their own way, for sure. Man, this makes me excited to see more John Wick movies, too. Dude, holy fuck. Carl Urban. Oh, that's right. I looked at the cast prior to this, and I did see Carl Urban was supposed to be in this. Who the, who the fuck did Carl Urban play? Uh... Did he play the CIA agent? He did! What the fuck? Yo, that is a young Carl Urban. Holy shit, no hair, no beard. Damn. Oh my God, I did not realize that was him. What? That's a little bit fucking crazy, huh? That's fucking crazy, bro. God damn. Ah, the Born Supremacy from 2004 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I looked at the cast prior to starting this, and I remember seeing Carl Urban on it. But when I started this fucking movie, I I wasn't thinking about it. And then throughout this, I didn't even recognize him as that guy. What the fuck? Dude, he was young as shit. I mean, I guess this was 2004, so this is damn near. <laughs> I mean... 18 years ago compared to what I've seen him in in the boys. I haven't seen him in too much stuff prior to the boys or other than the boys. I know I've seen him in a few other things, but I don't think I've seen him in something this early before, man. He looks way different, which, you know, 18 years is a long time. But regardless, second movie in the Bourne franchise is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. And what a movie. I will say off rip. I think I... I think I like this one more than the first one. I don't know what it is. The first one was great. I liked the first one, don't get me wrong, but I think I liked this one a little bit more. I don't know if it was because there was more action. I don't know if it was the plot in and of itself or what, but I really like the direction this movie went. And it's, it, it maybe it was part, part, part of the shock too that Marie died because with Marie dying, um, it kind of changed the pace in the path of the movie because they could have easily kept her alive and kind of had a repeat similar to the first one where it's them two kind of on the run and stuff but i guess maybe the shock of her dying and that kind of changing everything up was part of what made me love it so much because she felt like she was a big character dude obviously she was a big thing in the first one she came back for the second you know she was essentially the only person that knew jason and that was with him in life and she she just got killed like that i didn't expect that at all man and Wow, dude, that, the, the start of the movie was fucking great. The end of the movie was fucking great. The middle of the movie was fucking great. The twists and turns we had, the unraveling of the kind of vision, so to speak, or, you know, little pieces of the puzzle from his memories that were coming back and slowly getting those connected throughout the movie from him, you know, 
talking to Pam and hearing about the Berlin stuff to him going to Berlin to him seeing like, you know, seeing the hotel itself in person and those memories just coming back because he's back in that exact same spot again. And then, you know, him seeing what his first mission was, but not realizing it was something that was off the record and not really a, 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 a mission that was supposed to be known about and everything. It just, it's cool to see stuff like that, man. And the, the, the corruptness in the government and in these officials, you know, the, the, it exists today, man. And you stay corrupt long enough, you do bad things in life long enough, eventually it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. Eventually it's all going to come out. You know, you can't stay hidden forever. And there's a lot of corrupt motherfuckers out there nowadays too. And eventually they're going to get theirs. But fantastic fucking movie. Matt Damon is a great actor. I, I feel like, especially toward the start, I mean, obvious... Yeah, I guess not especially toward the start. I guess throughout the movie, for the most part, I love that, you know, Jason, he he doesn't have too many lines, like a lot, like he obviously has a good amount of dialogue for the movie. He's the star of the movie and everything, but there's also a lot of times where it's just him on screen and it's not really him talking. It's just him doing certain things. And I, I like that. And you can tell in his facial expressions and in the way they've done his face for the movie with the makeup or whatever they put on him. You know, like the scene where he was, uh, where he had first got spotted trying to use his passport and he got taken in and he was just sitting in the room and he was just dead in his eyes, like right after Maria died. Like, that was a fantastic scene. He just looked dead inside, dude. And man, Matt Damon is a fantastic actor. I haven't checked out a ton of his movies. I've checked out a few. Obviously, I've seen, you know, Interstellar, The Martian, and obviously these Bourne movies, but. I kind of want to take a look into more of his catalog. I don't know, maybe at some point we will, maybe after we finish this series we will, but regardless guys, fantastic movie. Another great one in the book. Shout out to the homie Alexander Collins, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing if you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.